So, oh, this is Greyleaf? It has a certain charm, I guess. It's also quiet. Anyone stupid enough to walk these roads usually winds up dead or undead in minutes. Be on your guard. If you hear or see anything move... Uh, scream like a lunatic and run for the trees? I was gonna say, give me a sign. Screaming and running is a sign. Ultimately, the Veil want us dead, the second Woken want the Veil dead. We're a perfect match. We just need to find their leader, whoever it is, and get them to listen. And not eat us. And that.
Oh, you're living. How rare. What are you doing in Greyleaf? Oh, you know, I may or may not be a wanted criminal looking to Mortis and her underlings for an alliance against my persecutors. It's even weirder than it sounds. Since the Veils rise to power in the Empire, that story isn't as rare as you'd think. No matter. I'm Lady Darkoil, leader of the Darkhold Brigade in Varentor. The pleasure's mine. As you're clearly new to these forests, I could help you get your bearings. Most of what I know of the forests of the Lost are legends. What can you tell me about this place? Thousands of years ago, Mortis rose from the dead body of Soloniel, goddess of the life stream. The newly born goddess of death became queen of the necromancers of Greyleaf and built her army of undead hordes here. But then, everyone knows that. So, where is everyone? I just assumed I'd be some slobbering monster's feast by now. As did I. The goddess and her hordes are here, but something's changed in them. Better to thank a blessing than question it, I'd say. If I'm going to get the undead on my side, I'll need to find their leader. They have a council, right? Bold, aren't you? I don't know if the Council of Six are in Greyleaf, but there's strange activity to the north, which is why I stick to the southern roads. You mentioned you're part of a brigade in Veranta Or. That's a long way from here. After being threatened with being marked pure as punishment for losing our last battle, I fled. Wars are hardly the honorable pastimes they used to be. I just assumed from the singing that you were, you know, a singer. The song of Dark Oil's Rising is my family's song. It reminds me of home. Does you? My mother used to sing to me, but that was a long time ago. I can hardly remember it. Fine to meet you, lady. Walk in the High Father's holy light, Traveler. Pray often, and sleep little. Good advice in these parts.
Let's move. I go to victory! We will prevail! There will be no surrender. Wear them down. I march on. Mounting an offensive.
What is this? Mortis's power wanes. If the goddess of death is dying, and it is our guess that she is, we must act. You intend to use this to save Mortis somehow? No! We intend to end her reign once and for all. An opportunity like this comes once an epoch at best. If you've come to volunteer yourself to the throne, proceed. My guess is those bodies weren't volunteers? Their will hardly matters now. Nor does yours, little man. We ride from Ilion to negotiate an alliance between our land and yours. The goddess of death is not here to negotiate. And I, well, I don't want truce. I want your death. the line. Pressing the enemy.
Man down. I'm going. We make our stand here. We will be victorious. and offensive. or I will cut off your head. Enough! Well done, young fiend. Well done. What? You are spectacular, otherworldly. It's been a century since I last met a fighter with your, ah, vigor. You said you seek alliance. Consider it yours, if you help reap the flesh we need for this throne. I nearly killed you. You're either very forgiving or very crazy. I'm very both, as are you, which is why an alliance is all the more valuable. But it cannot be struck without flesh sacrifice! I can't be the only one who's feeling nervous about this. The living have done nothing but double-cross us. They kill, lie, cheat, and steal. The undead are as trustworthy as anyone else, Ori. Cheating and stealing are my two favorite pastimes, but your point is taken. Now then, deal? First, I need to know I can trust you. Prejudice is a tool to keep the world's most powerful forces divided. Let it go. Nevendar is chaos. The undead are harmonious unity no matter the race or creed. We wish only to thrive as one whole. You can be part of that. I'm holding you to your word. If I help you build this monstrosity, that makes us allies. More than allies. If we free the burdened binds in the forests of the lost, I'd say that makes us friends. One thing at a time, necromancer. Oh, please. Call me Ejimar. Enemy of the Vale. The Elves. Mortis. Enemy of a great number of things. I'm Aviana. 
Truth be told, if you can find willing participants for our ritual, there need be no fighting at all. But I wouldn't recommend it. Everyone should have the pleasure of dying when they least expect it. Leave the details to me, Ejimar. I'll help build this throne, and in return... The liberated hordes of Greyleaf do anything you ask. You're building a temple of rotting flesh. What I don't understand is why, or how. Instructing my minions to harvest flesh resulted in them tearing each other to shreds. How children fight for the love of a parent. Their bodies made fine contributions just the same. My incantation to free us from Mortis' control requires only blood sacrifice now. Lots of it. You mentioned you're trying to free yourself from Mortis. What happened to her? Better minds have been driven mad questioning the fickle will of God's young fiend. Know only that Mortis's will is to unite the world in death, but that will wanes. You don't strike me as picky, but let's assume you were. Where do I find the best sacrifices? My taste in flesh is hardly discerning, it's true. From the tomb of Tuchulkan to the eastern wastes, I want any, and I want many! I like to know who I'm working with, Edgemar. Well, there was a time, over a century ago, when I was an archmage to Demosthenes II. I was among the first to serve the Vale. I killed a man who stood in the way of my rise to power. The Vale posthumously named him a saint and damned me to cleansing. I chose a different path. Necromancy. And why not? The only thing worse than a naked obsession with power is a hidden obsession with power. I'll be back. Try not to kill anyone while I'm gone. I knew we were looking for the leader of Greyleaf's hordes, but he's not exactly what I was expecting. No, but we found him, and he needs us. That's not a bad position to be in. Ilion will become whatever you make of it in the end. But be honest with me, I swear not to judge. Have you gone mad? I was wondering the same thing, but it's like Ejimar said. The hordes are united, if not with Mortis, then with us. You nervous? I'd say worry is appropriate, given that with a wave of his finger he could turn us into zombies! We'd have to be dead first, so my opinion, let's not die. Oh, don't die. In Greyleaf, home of necromancers and the dread queen of death. Perfect plan! Look, these bodies are newer. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. After, help me collect this for that necromancer.
intruders on occasion. This is not such an occasion.
exactly a charmer, that one. He's got a perfect personality for being tossed onto piles of rotting flesh. Let's take him and his friends back to Edgemar. <laughs>